and welcome back yet again. Uh, today's video is me just having a wee visit down at the unit. I haven't actually done a video where we've been down at the unit, uh, so I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll sh have a wee jaunt down here and I'll show you what I keep down at the unit, at the hidden location. I think most of my pals know where it is anyway. Um, the, I only keep, just had to count, yeah, four, <laughs> two, four, six, seven cars here. Um, obviously, Minty's here. Um, I've done a video on that, obviously, already on uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, I don't think I showed it with the, obviously it's got the RS Turbo engine in it. This is a XR3i, but it has got full S, um, Series 1 RS Turbo, uh, a replica, basically. It's, it's got everything that is Series 1 RS Turbo on it, but we'll be getting changed, as we know, uh, to the Focus. I've got um, the interior changed. I've got black leather uh, Recaros in it rather than the crappy uh, red and white ones, sorry, blue and white ones that came in it when I originally got it. Interior's ripped out at the back, um, as you can see. Um, and I've done the dashboard in a flock. Um, this was all cracked and whatnot, so it's been flocked, we've repaired and flocked just for something different. Um, it is push button start on this as well. I've already converted that, so it is keyless entry. I've already had a wee faff about that and managed to source that out because. Uh, who doesn't want a push button start and an old escort or something something different but yeah we'll go into more of that depth that once i start actually building this one so yeah this engine's coming out and then the st225 will be going into it um next in the uh unit is my motorbike this is my mt07 a uh, great bike i originally had a, a triumph st1050 um but i just had a shot one of these and i fell in love with it it's uh, a really nimble bike looks apart if i was I'll change around the camera for you. So this is the MT-07. Um, since I've had it, I got it bog standard. I have fitted a set of uh, barring mirrors to it, a bubble screen. Um, we have changed the back end in it as well. We've got rid of the back hugger and we've got a tail tidy on that. I've taken off the stickers around the wheel because I just, I'm not a big sticker fan. Uh, and I put on a new uh, pyramid belly, belly pan at the bottom of that, uh, as well as the Scorpion exhaust. Uh, that comes on it. Um, I have got an LED light um, to change into this that kind of toughens up. It's a smoked one as well. And I've got small well, sequential indicators that go on in the front and the tail tidy in the back. But we need to get a chance to actually strip out all the plastics to get into the gubbins that are into here and run the lines. Um, it's a bit of a nuisance, especially when I'm not used to working a motorbike. But I really love this bike. Really love it. Um, also, I have the GLS 4x4 in here. Uh, obviously this is the car that got me started in the Fords um, when my dad had one. Again, that is on my YouTube channel further on. Um, but yeah, this car, I don't think I'll ever have to leave the collection because it's just, it's the reminder of what got me into, into the Fords. Obviously we have the Escort Cosworth. Um, to be honest, this one's fast becoming my favourite in the collection. I wasn't overly sold in it when I first got it, but Obviously, John Balfour's reworked the car. We've had it fully rebuilt, the brand new uh, interior into it. I've had fully retrimmed by Anthony at Interior Mods. Um, just a wee nod with the hexes on it, and it's full leather interior. Um, all across the dashboard here as well, and down the centre consoles, uh, door cards, new roof trimmings, and whatnot. So, yeah, I don't think I've actually shown you the engine in this one. Um, I might as well pop the bonnet and give you a leak. Oh, there you look. But yeah, um, plain, clean and tidy. Um, this is fully forged, uh, running bang on 350 uh, brake horsepower, which um, was done at Andrew Gallagher's, well, the, the rolling road was, at least anyway. Uh, John Balfour has fully built this, because it was an absolute mess um, when I got this car. Right into the core, and engine was clanging away like a skeleton in a dustbin. Um, and I obviously changed it up, painted front end, cleaned it up. Uh, I've just recently changed the wheels to the Rondells, and a set of AP brakes uh, fitted to the back of it. I think these fuels kind of toughen the car up a wee bit. I do still have, obviously, over there, um, these FAs that were on the car, so I can switch between the two if I need be. Next one is my Mark One Focus RS. I haven't had this one on the channel yet. Um, I don't know why yet. I just I can't decide on what plate I'm going to put on it. Uh, at the moment, I had, did have the, the plate that's on the motorbike. It's B Treble One TSY, um, but... I've got no plates on it just now. Um, it is on the standard registration plate, um, but I'm trying to get a private plate that will match, obviously, the rest of the cars to put onto it. This one is super clean. I mean, 
super clean um, obviously dirty but there's no marks on it there's no dents everything works as it should um, if any if I was to pick a fault in it these tires are pathetic I mean it's, it's really bad it's like AC ditch finders uh, interior is perfect on it as well um, there's, everything works as it should except that stereo it has a wee kind of couple of issues but I'm going to change that out and put a single den into it uh, the full interior has been retrimmed as well so everything in it is tight as a drum and obviously um, it's got a nice kind of Maxton splitter on the front of it which keeps everything nice and tidy a lot of people don't like them but I think it makes the car I'm going to try and get a set of ST170 headlights just to darken up the front I think the silver kind of pulls away from the car on these ones uh, another car I keep it down at the unit is the, the Saf Cozy and uh, anyone knows this one um, this was the one my wife bought me for my 40th um, I haven't featured this one yet on the channel um, again everything's been so busy um, but it has got the full Lux pack in it and we do have a full um, leather interior in it as well this is the 4 before. it's not the two wheel drive um, if I can pop the bonnet on it probably not as quick as anything else try to hold a camera change over um, but yeah I've got quite a bit to change in this one um, I've, I've changed everything and put a bigger um, RS500 uh, AirTek intercooler on it and the fan system with the twin fan obviously uh, plugs in up here um, we've put the bigger boost pipe kits on it, the bigger filter um, it is, should be running about 250 this one um, the, what is letting it down is <laughs> this hose here is collapsing on me so every time I come on boost I can hear this hose collapse you can see it's just it's just so soft so I'm gonna have to change that uh, to stop me you know losing the boost and, and hearing this whine that comes off it uh, running the Escort Cosworth alloys on it as well which I think are the best the best wheels for these cars I don't think they suit the Escort but I think they suit the, the Sierra perfectly um, underneath this cover um, I'll, get it. I'll try and pull it off and show you this is where we use, a, use the um, Cosy as a as a stand for the <laughs> as a stand for the tele, um, phone, but yeah, um, underneath this one we have shadow. Um, obviously, I do have a cover for the Scott Cosworth. I was out in it the other day there, so um, it usually sits under cover. But yeah, um, this was a front cover of a Fast Car magazine back in 2020. It was um, just before lockdown basically happened. Um, this originally was my daily driver um, because I'd, I'd obviously done up Blaze too much and I couldn't really drive that every day so I obviously got another RS and then I had to modify that and it's gone from a daily to another show car a bit like, you know, the Mark 1s, the Cosy and everything else so it's, it's I can't help myself sometimes uh, and then round the corner um, I have got obviously Excuse me, I use it as a workbench down here, but this is the, <coughs> excuse me, um, this is the bench mark um, for the cars. To be honest with you, this, this one has to sit in here out of the way because I am going to pull it to bits um, very shortly, but this is the, the one everybody wants, asks me about. It's Blaze. Uh, Blaze sits in its own little corner under its cover, just out the way next to its uh, stable mate there, uh, Shadow um, I don't know if anyone's ever seen inside but obviously it's dead dark but obviously everything in there has been totally retrimmed in leather too um, this, was, this was front cover of Fast Forward magazine back in 2019 because uh, it was 2019 and 2020 for, for Shadow uh, this is, to date this is still the, the most powerful Focus RS in the world at 1056 uh, brake horsepower um, and originally it was a 1010, uh, but if you do your calculations, it is the, the 1050. So this this is off the road for now. Um, I'll try and pop the bonnet for you. So yeah, this this has been off the road and will be off the road for a, a wee while. Um, I'll show you in a second. Um, we have had problems. Big power becomes big problems, and we have um, we've either blown the cylinder head on it or. I've actually burst a, uh, a piston ring, so I haven't touched anything else because I don't want to. I'm going to we're going to drop this out and see exactly what's what's going wrong. But she is officially off the road at the moment. Um, as you can see, I remember one of my videos I put in steel seal, 
probably wasn't one of my best ideas but I was just wanting to make sure that we could get the car to drive uh, hopefully it was just maybe a head gasket issue um, but it didn't last long and then you can see it's it's given us horrible like white residue on it um, so yeah that's if you're asking me about what's happened to the blaze then this is it um, but with so many Focus RSs um, about now um, it's hard to stay on top of the game and be a, a, a really top car so uh, folk tend to look for faults in this and obviously this is a major fault you start to see bits and bobs because this car gets driven so this is going to be the next three I'm giving myself four years to rebuild it and it's come back with a brand new engine I'm not going to give the game away I have got an engine getting built over in Sweden at the moment um, that sh is, should be one of a kind um, but that'll be worth obviously keeping an eye on once we bring it back to the channel so you won't actually see so much of this in the channel we're going to try and do as much as we can with this car um, in the in situ here um, we're going to buy a, a ramp and put it in and jack it up and we'll strip it into its bare shell in here uh, and then we'll get everything sent away I'll probably put it into a bare shell again and paint it and get everything you know proper show worthy because I doubt if I'm honest it'll be uh, driven in the roads again it'll probably just be a complete and utter show car still pretty under the engine bay but as you can see I mean this is just this is not what you want from a complete show car is it um, but yeah so this is this is why you haven't seen uh, Blaze out and about it has literally got problems that we need to, to fix um, like any big powered cars they just become so temperamental and although it's built really well I drive them hard and you know with cars like this you, you, you they could work 24-7 you know, or they could break 24-7 uh, I've been lucky enough I've had a good I think a good four or five years out of this engine uh, at this power um, so I'm doing pretty good if I'm honest um, especially the way I drive so time to rework it excuse me and get it everything tickety boo so yeah um, this is the lock up I'm trying to do this in one take so it's not <laughs> wasting some of my day but um, I'm hoping I would like to see if I could maybe squeeze another car in here, I reckon some shuffling about, especially over here if I can pull the, the two cars over, I make them obviously the oldest school cars aren't as wide I can pull Minty over next to the Sierra, fold in the Sierra's wing mirror and I can maybe get um, like the B Fiesta SD180 down there um, which I'm actually down in today but yeah, this is the, the Butsy customised unit, it should be this for a wee while, I was saying I'd probably change something, um, I would probably move the GLS if I'm in honesty and pull in maybe the Mondeo into here or the ST180 so it's a wee bit more of a showpiece this one's really just for me more than anything else uh, the GLS but yeah welcome down to the unit something a wee bit different and a quick video for you all if there's anything that you would like to see uh, on the channel please get in touch I like put in the comments below and I'll try my best to film it it's really hard for me um, Bear in mind, I'm not a YouTube fanatic. I've only literally just started it in the past year or so. So if there's anything that you'd like to see me uh, do with the cars, uh, go with the cars, or if you want to see anything about certain cars, then, you know, it would help me out quite a bit to see exactly what you, the followers, are tuning in to see. Because um, obviously my ideas are pretty limited because I can drive them every day. But if you want to see anything to do with the cars, then please, I would love to hear from you. Absolutely love to hear from you. Um, if there is um, people local, um, and you've got a fast forward or even something that's cool and you maybe want featured in the channel then you know give me a call and we might do something kind of something kind of different you can bring the cars into units and we'll go over and see what everybody's driving that's watching the channel um, try and kind of boost it up a wee bit and see what we can do um, but on that note as always take easy and I'll see you in the next one